Okay, I'm going to give this a try. This was uh, actually a suggestion from somebody on the, made a comment on the channel, on my channel to uh, get out of the berth single-handed. They suggested, a, you know, a, a midship line. So I've got one rigged here, uh, you know, with the carabiner independent line here at mid, just above a, yeah, just forward amidship, and then I've run it back to another clip on the dock, and then both are led into the cockpit. So the idea is that uh, you know I should be able to back up and um, hold the uh, front of the boat in. I got starboard prop walk, which pulls me this way, so that midship line should hold the boat in. And I may be, maybe even be able to back the boat out using the, the lines here as a guide before I even engage the engine. One of the questions is whether or not this is forward, far, far enough forward, maybe I need to anchor it, you know, up here. But, uh, well, I'm going to give it a try. Okay, so I'm just getting, I'm throwing the last line aboard. And I'm going to step aboard here. And what I decided to try here was to see if I could actually just use the running lines, you know, to the to the spreader to the shroud there, and pull the boat the boat back before I engaged the uh, you know put the boat in reverse. Um, now I should have moved that fender there and that fender is, you know, causing me a bit of grief. Those two vertical fenders hanging off the side of the boat. And I should have got those out of the way and I'll do that next time. So I'm, I'm trying to move the boat back, but I'm, I'm kind of stalling here. It, it's not really going quite as well as I want. Um, so there, there we go. I put it into reverse. So now I'm in reverse, taking up, up the slack on the line. Um, you know, the prop walk now is starting to pull the stern to starboard, so I'm losing the bow to port. Um, taking the slack in on the line. I'm in reverse slowly, but I'm losing the bow. So I'm, I'm starting to worry now that my anchor is going to foul on the boat to port. I'm really losing the bow there. And uh, so I, I'm now in neutral. And okay, this is a problem. I've got to, I've got to fix this. I go over and look. Yeah, okay. So I'm, I've got fenders on the port side. So there's no big problem of damage. But now I'm pulling on the line on both of those lines to bring the bow back to starboard. So there's an advantage. I'm still in the cockpit. I'm able to do this from the cockpit. So that's a win. Um, being able to do it from the cockpit. Okay, now I've, I've got my boat away from theirs and I'll re-engage it in reverse and now I'm I'm giving slack on the running lines there and uh, you see the prop walk is still pulling stern to starboard but this time I've got enough enough room to sort of clear the dock and to clear the other boat uh, so it's it's an, it's an improvement, but I've got a couple of action items that I want to try for next time. And once I'm clear, then you'll see that I pull that line in when I'm all done. Uh, and that'll wrap it up till the next attempt.
Okay, well, I guess that wasn't, I wouldn't say it was a total success, but it wasn't a total fail either. Um, as I backed up, you know, I, I lost the bow to the other boat, but the tie, midship tie, did allow me to pull back, um, and I was able to back out. I think it might be better to move it forward to that next shroud there. Um, so it did work. I was able to recover uh, the bow by pulling on the line without leaving the cockpit. I think that's a win. So it, you know, uh, so that was good. Um, I did lose the bow initially, so it may, it may be that uh, I do a little bit of, of preparation, move the stern to port to give me a bit of room to start, back up, I'll move this forward next time, and uh, I'll see what happens. Starting to lose the light here, but I'll give it another try. The other thing I tried to do in that first one was I, I wanted to see if I could manhandle the boat back uh, using the, the ropes and it didn't really work so then I put it in reverse when I lost the bow so this time I'm not going to do that I'm going to prepare push the stern to port then back out see if that does it Okay, so this is attempt number two, and uh, just undoing the last line there. So I've, I've moved the running line forward to the last stanchion, I've run them both aft. Now I'm going to get rid of the fenders. See, I got the fenders out of the way this time. So I'm going to push the stern over to port and then step aboard. That gives me a little bit of room while I put it in reverse. I want to get as close to the other boat as, I, as I'm comfortable. Okay, now I'm in reverse. Now I'm taking in the lines. And uh, see there the lines are, I'm pulling them in as I'm going. I'm, I am staying reasonably away from from the other boat um, I've got good clearance and okay so now now I've got some slack now I'm, I'm starting to give slack clear of the other line and okay now I'm clear of both I'm still giving slack on the on both lines from the cockpit and then I'm going to hold them fast. I'm going to hold them both fast, but I'm going to leave the transmission in reverse. So the boat is going to stop its backward motion. And now the prop walk is going to just swing. This is going to swim the stern over to starboard. So you can see that there now that I've got the ropes you know, locked off. It doesn't take a lot, just with my hands. And I've got it in reverse. So the boat's unable to move any further back. But because of the prop walk, I'm now swinging or, or skidding or penduluming the stern to starboard to create the necessary angle for me to then continue out in reverse. I could do a 180 degree turn on the, on the spot using prop walk and, and the rudder, but in this case, I'm gonna go out in reverse. So there you go, I'm pulling the rope in and I've effectively executed the turn. Okay, <laughs> well that worked really well actually. Um, I'm a lot happier with how that worked. Um, Putting this forward meant that as it as it came tight and the bow started to pivot, I wasn't going to hit the other boat. I had room and I gave it slack 
and then with prop walk to the right once i was out of the slip i was very comfortable holding the rope tight and letting the boat turn with prop walk against that hard line so that actually worked uh, really well so i think that is the ticket you have the, the line run up to uh you know this stanchion doesn't take a lot of force i mean if you have a wreck you can bend your stanchion but you just need enough you know almost you don't need a lot on there so and i don't have another cleat it'd be nicer to have a cleat i guess i could move it forward to the cleat but uh and then ran it back the carabiners are nice on here because the uh the rope ran really really smooth and then the carabiner on the dock uh, back here uh, also was very smooth to pull so not a ton of friction that may be uh, you know one of the most controlled exits I've had the other thing was I didn't try to pull it with the rope I pushed the stern out to port my starboard prop walk you know pulled it back straight and I came out of the slip so I'm actually quite happy with uh, how that worked so I think that was a success.